everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you all are having a great day. Well, I'm excited to be playing this game today. I'm also slightly terrified because we just made it into Chapter 6 territory. And last time we played, um, we moved into the cave where we cleared out the Murphy Brood for the second time, but the game doesn't know that. And that's, of course, naturally we had to kill everybody. And now we're camping right outside this, like, crazy cave. Um, and also... We scoped out the prison that we're going to break into in today's episode. And then also right at the end, Molly O'Shea waltzed up to our boy Dutch, claiming that she ratted us out. She told everyone we were the ones in charge of the bank heist, which is apparently the rule in Fight Club. You don't talk about Fight Club. You don't tell anyone that, like, you know, who's in charge of the heist, who does what. So Molly fucked up. She done fucked up, guys. And uh, she got her brains absolutely blown out by Miss Grimshaw, and I'm pretty sure it says somewhere in the gang clause, like, 1.7 addendum appendix, you know, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure it says somewhere that specifically, like, Miss Grimshaw will kill you with a shot. Yeah, anyway, so that's where we're at today. I'm excited, um, and let's just jump right into it. It's, uh, uh, it's auto-save time. It's, uh, early in the morning for me. It's one of those recording days. I've got a coffee. Still warming up the brain cells. It's a nice murky morning. I don't know what this person is. I really want to continue with our main stuff. But you can't just put a circle on my map and not expect me to go for it. God damn it. You're all right, girl. I need to take her to the stables too. You know what? Let's do that. Good girl. Yeah, you good girl? Oh my gosh, so much wildlife is out. Idiot. You know what would be crazy? What if, depending on how high your honor was, the world around you was dying too? Like, you wouldn't see wildlife as much. Um, the people would start, like, disappearing. I don't know, like, what if they just, like... Like, the trees would start dying. Wait, why did I just get off my horse to go into this table? It's 4 a.m. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Sure is. I'm fine. Don't you worry about me. Uh huh. Yeah! Everyone loves princess. I kind of want some food, but the saloon is closed. Maybe I can just... Oh, Edith Downs! That's who it is! Oh, yeah, we need to go do that. I was trying to eat some food. Yeah, we're doing that. Whew! I'm sure you guys saw that pop up on my list and you guys were like, oh my fucking god. Yeah, I'm sure you guys saw that pop up and you were like... Does she know? Yeah, there's a girl. Yeah, we locked eyes with her before we left the town. Oh, shit. Easy there, girl. 
Mm-hmm. Who wouldn't do this quest? You never listen to me. It's like talking to a goddamn wall. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to work in that mine no more, okay? Would you rather go back to thieving? Hmm? I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs. And what if it caves in again? Well, I told you a hundred times already. It'll get better. Yeah, sure. And who's gonna change things around here? You? Jameson? He'll work you to death. I've, I've had enough. I'm gonna go put food on the table. Well, go on then. See if I care whether you come back. Is there a man in this town who ain't a moron? Hello. He's just scared. Good job's hard to find. A good woman is harder to find. Taking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. She had a really good voice actor. He was like, he wasn't bad at it, but he was like half committed to the punch and she was like on her knees yelling. finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is down. Sorry. Do not seek absolution one. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But... I mean... Well, I... I this country... Is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think? In the mines? Down the mine. Mm-hmm. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, foremen don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go with... Maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. God. Her voice actor, too. That was haunting. I just got chills. I already fucked with them enough, don't you think? Like. We physically watched him keel over and die. He was sick. I like the song, though. I just feel like we've done enough. Hey, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. Your mom's a whore, little boy. Oh. oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Uh, can't even. Uh. Get off me. Uh. I'm gonna die. Who sunk that, huh? That's you think I can't fight? Uh, who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go. 
Come on, mate. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. My God. Get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. <sighs> Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. God, uh, my eyes, they're watery. <laughs> hmm. Jeez. At least we're sort of help able to help them. Arthur in like his last bits of strength that he had left. Trying to <sighs> right his wrongs. It's fucked up, man. We have so much money. Could have given them a thousand dollars. I should have saved him too. I didn't know which one it was the. Free me, please. You just gonna walk by? You're one of the good ones, ain't you? Thank the Lord for that. Will you get me out of here? Will you get me away from these men? I mean, they're dead, but... God damn it! We were just there! I have to go break my friend out of prison! Thank you. I don't have time! Alright, we can, we can afford one more detour. Swear to God. Why'd you stop, mister? Sh bitch, do you want to ride or not? Jinx. What are you yelling about, sweetie? Could we keep... Moving? Hi, Jinky. I All right. really don't want to stay out here. D I get it. Fine, I'll manage on my own. Oh, <laughs> Well, that worked itself out, I guess. I really didn't want to go back up to Ansberg again. I, listen, in my defense, I totally would have taken her. I was on the way. The game just reminded me that my weapons needed to be clean. She couldn't wait 90 seconds. I mean, I get it. She was recently traumatized and she wanted to get out of the seat. I, that was probably poor judgment on my part, but still that's kind of funny that I lost honor. I gotta get those howdy misters in, bruh. We're nearly at the tip of the scale. 
Okay. Yep. You got the zoomies, princess. Come on. Come on. What? What? Hi there, mister. Don't leave me the hell There's some scary noises, I tell you what. Piggies. I'm now going to be able to identify sounds in nature. I'm going to be outside and be like, that's an owl. Oh, that's a barking fox out there. Friends are going to be like, what the hell? All right, princess, you stay there now. Abigail. Oh. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Haha, <laughs> mommy, Sadie. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> we'll land the boat in the morning when the prisoners come back out and work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot and look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. <sighs> uh huh. Many times, Marston. God, look at that prison, bro. Okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh, My God. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. The entire mini map is like pink hued. That's good. Oh, we're going up, eh? Boom, baby. What's that gun? Okay. Come on up. Is that him? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Uh, yeah, I see two guards. Okay, take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. From here? Shot him in the head. He better not be moving. Bro. <laughs> no. I guess it'd be good to interrogate him. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You! 
Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marsden? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Uh huh, we got that much. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. <gasps> Family uh, trip. Anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> damn. Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. Oh, we're getting cocky now. I'm sorry, ma'am. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Oh uh, my god. He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're, they're not going to let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. There's knocking everyone out on the way. This is crazy. Can I just hog time and carry him? So, you a popular employee, my friend? The small talk. Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Yeah. How bad they want to keep you alive. Or how many people will care if he dies. Come on, march straight up to the front gate. Oh, we are. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Yeah, we didn't exactly take a popularity contest. Hold your fire! Bastard. Bastard. Shit. Okay, yeah. friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Are they gonna do it? Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One. <laughs> two. Three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Oh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. Oh, oh my God. Must be at Eleven by now. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Faster. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Now, hurry up. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know. I know. Hey. Hey. Oh, my God. God. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. I can't believe we just bargained with, like... They actually brought him, him. We just bargained with prison guards. Don't you say someone what? Oh, coming to the gate. Like 
Oh my god. I just watched his head vaporize. That was some fucking Thanos shit. Yeet! Sons of bitches! Sons of bitches! No hand signaling allowed. All right. Come on. We gotta move. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Come on. Oh my god. Yeah, owie. You think? We got to move. We get We got a boat, buddy. Let's go, Sadie. Let's fucking go. God damn it. It's a beautiful day for a shootout. God damn. Come on. You always seem to need rescue, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You. You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It can still handle. Ha <laughs> Coming from the Osis guy. Okay, buddy. Thanks for the hustle. Thanks for the what? You know, I think I liked you better when you was all Dressed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. <laughs> Hurry up. They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We stay together. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Is so my temporary horse? The one that keeps haunting us? What are you doing? Back I'm coming. What the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. Yep. All them years. Arthur, 
He was like... like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. Is John on our side? We... What about... The, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this. <laughs> yeah, it's quite it's the tale. A long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids, some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus, maybe you should have just left me to hang. Literally, that's what I'm saying. I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time. So, might not be the hero's welcome, you're a uh. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. Are we going behind Dutch's... Dodges... Like, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he's always been this way. Maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Uh, yes, not. Yeah, Micah. Oh, this is so utterly fucked. This is so fucked, y'all. Uh. Oh no, what's the reaction gonna be? I'm just- I'm just gonna drink my coffee. You brought him back to me! We told you we would. Dutch, though. Doc. What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. Oh no. I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Oof! Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! You just said John. you didn't. John. Go back to prison. <laughs> you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They, they was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was You're not- talking. I don't see you being hung right now. And now they may come and hang yeah, us Yeah, they all. obviously didn't. Dumb. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Dude. Arthur. Arthur. Oh. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Oh. oh. Of course he brought Micah. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Make sure they've left? Yeah, okay. Fishing? Hi, little buddy. You okay, Jack? 
Is Mr. Strauss gone? Yeah, he had to leave. Sorry. Now would be a good time to actually ask everyone how they're doing. Well, at least he's back. <sighs> Thank you for getting him out, Arthur. Of course, someone had to. Where's the dog? Oh! He'll turn up though. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. Kane! Come on! No, the Poochie! Tough times, Mr. Morgan. I did what had to be done. How do you feel, Ms. Grimshaw? I'm not saying anything. Okay. She knows. She knows we did what had to be done. Okay, so she's not against us. Maybe she just can't vocalize her opinions? Mr. Morgan. Yep. Mr. Morgan. You don't look very well. I'm not, Reverend. I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well on the other hand. Yes, sir. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. I don't give a fuck, dude. Leave. I'm trying to listen to this conversation. I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. Okay, that's great, Swanson. I'm glad that you're healed. I'm great. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm trying to listen to these guys. God damn it. Okay. You know, you'll get what's coming to you. Bill was like shitting on Charles. Bill, what have you done? What the hell was that about? Bill? Being too dumb to see the woods for the trees? Uh, he's just taking it hard, I think. He's too dumb to see it for how it is. He's loyal. I'll give him that. Loyal and stupid. Sometimes those go hand in hand. Hello, Abigail. What are we gonna do, Reverend? Hi. Hello. All right. You good, dude? Mr. Pearson. Oh, hi, Arthur. Hi. Mr. Pearson is so, uh, unproblematic. I feel like he just fucking chills. A letter has arrived for you. Return to camp to read this. Yeah. What? I was gonna go to the post office to collect all my stuff, I think. Oh, hi, Tilly. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. Why? Drinking? You know why? She's gonna kill herself when she hits the liquor. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try, too. But... We both know it won't work. Yeah, that's tricky. Please don't tell me it's from the chick. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. Braith right. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. <sighs> I must escape. Yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? 
Most oh. days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Huh. I can't handle people going at each other like this. I don't like this feeling either. Huh. Where's Karen? Hey, Shady. All right there, Arthur. Got her over there? Hey, big man. Worried. Really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. Uh, I guess folks is gonna make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Good man. Folks are gonna have to make a choice. What? Hi, Karen. With that stuff. This is taking it easy. Keep your head straight. Sure, Arthur. That was us talking to her. Wow. Valiant effort. Hey, you, uh, you take it easy with that stuff. All right. <laughs> Can't exactly send her off to a rehabilitation facility, but. Okay, girl. Could have tried a little bit harder than that. Um, okay, so we gotta go to Ansburg. And Braith Rate Manor at some point. straight died holy shit I, it wasn't letting me shoot him I was trying on fire $150 Jesus alright oh yeah I guess I could show you guys some of the entries that I found Not doing well. Tuberculosis. Uh, never know who you're gonna meet. Down in a dark alley. Oh, the vampire thing. Saint Denis. I did some mayor stuff. With like the fake art. Fracking station. I found a little hobbit home. Took medicine to that creepy pair as they've been poisoning themselves on them proper. They survived, but I doubt they'll make it much longer. I think that was Mr. Black and Mr. White. All the legendary animals. Ice skater coffin. Weird boys with equally weird names. Oh, yeah. That has me to beat them in Valentine. Completed the map. There's the X right there. We can go check that out. An orchid. All the legendary animals. Albert. Went to see the professor at his lab. 
Beaver Hollow, Molly ratted us out, Dutch broke her heart, so she told the law about us. Explains how they found us so easily, I guess. Love does strange things to us all, even stranger than hate. She turned up drunk and mouthy and told us all this. She was so pathetic I wanted to spare her, but Miss Grimshaw put a bullet in her anyway. Guess it was right, guess there wasn't much of a choice. This was in our new camp, high in some nasty country. Badlands are as bad as we can find this far to the east. The place we were holed up used to belong to a bunch of murderers, the Murphrees, or some nonsense like that, they call themselves. We shot a f some of them, but there's more lurking in the woods around this place. Don't think we have long here before the law or the Pinkertons find us again. I just hope we can keep ahead of them for a while or ahead of ourselves. I met a one-legged man, war veteran, interesting fella. Said come by his cabin on the other side of Oak Cree's run. Maybe I will. We wrote about this in our journal, so I think that might be worth doing. For some insane reason, I went out gathering depths for Strauss. Whole business revolted me. Bunch of sad, desperate bastards had their and me their worst nightmare. I'd had enough of the whole business, so I ran Strauss out of camp. Whole business of loaning revolted me. Turns out it's going to kill me, too, so I guess that's about right. Probably did Strauss a favor running him out of the camp, but either way, I could not bear to see his beady little eyes no more. Sight of that poor soldier and his squaw wife will be with me until I die. Found a raving lunatic, completely raving, took him back to a village nearby, Butcher's Creek. Something ain't right there. Some kind of village elder, Obadiah, maybe, appeared. He spoke mostly nonsense. Weird place. Something not right at all. I want to know what's going on. Sissica Penitentiary. From the air. Sadie Adler and I rescued Marston from prison, where he was awaiting hanging. Spied on them in a balloon, an event which was amazing and awful, and I thought would ki kill me quicker than this illness. Later, Sadie and I rescued him while getting shot at. I did it for Abigail, of course, in her own way, the finest woman I know, but also for Jack and I guess Marston himself. Kind of like him. We've argued over the years, but I've grown to care a little for him. He's less of a fool than he was, and... He's less of a fool than he was, and maybe he can have that luck that has eluded me. Jack is an innocent little boy, and him, I see what I missed. We did it. Mrs. Adler and me, and then got attacked by Dutch. I went behind his back, and sure, he never likes that, but I suppose the years of blind loyalty is at an end. Loyal, yes, but not blind. Not until he opens his eyes as to who the, to the hell we are in, and who his friends really are. Micah, I no longer trust whatsoever, nor do I trust half of them, nor myself. The whole thing is a mess, and I cannot think clearly. Holy shit balls. Things have uh, gone off the rails, that's for sure. Yep. I think I'm just gonna go straight across. So it's telling us to go like away, yonder, da -da -da -da. I'm just gonna like go straight. We'll see how that goes for me. I can't believe we actually died. Good girl. Uh, you good girl? We just got robbed. Is there a post office over there? Yeah, there is. Sick. There, girl. Yep. Look at that. Yeah. Boom, shortcut. Right, Wanted dead or alive. Jesus. Dead or alive. Alive. Woo. Voice crack there. Whoa. Sorry, princess. At 4 a.m. Sangin. <laughs> Good girl. Real good, real good. Oh my god, that was aggressive. Real good. Really getting into it. That's a real good girl. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Sunrise.
Wow, that was brief. Oh shit! Welcome, oh. welcome. Hello. Skull statue. Oh, we got a little statue and a rock statue. Inventation from Francis Sinclair. Y'all right there, sir? Yes. Why? Been some grip going around here, and I just thought, uh... Ah, you know what? Never mind. What can <sighs> I do for you? Everyone knows. Dear sir, the carvings you found, the last of them. Oh, wait until I show you what I've pieced together. You'll think I'm a bit buttered. But do, no, please do not dally. I'm traveling soon and don't want to miss you. See you at my home a bit north of the midway point between Owen Gila Lake and Strawberry. Francis Sinclair. Lots of folks think I get bored. Thanks for your assistance. Yeah, so... Charlotte? Bronte? Francis? And we gotta go where the X is on the map. Cause it's like a buffalo? It looked like it was like somewhere here. I don't know. We got a lot to do, dude. I might hold off on the mission. Are they gone? How do I check? Hey there. Good evening, mister. Madam, back here. Have a nice evening. Hello, mister. Um? Howdy. Hello. Evening, partner. Hey there. Evening, mister. Ah, this is the hotel. Is this a saloon or something? Make sure they've left. Hmm. Make sure... Okay, I don't see... anything. It just says, like, some days later. Maybe since it's, like, a fog and it's not completely whited out, it's not time- Well, no, it's there. So it's not time yet, but... Huh. Yeah, it's... come back for that uh because we need to go back for the main mission anyways i'm gonna knock out some side quests as soon as i thought i was wrapped up with loose ends we got more loose ends hey there. <laughs> it's like i'm gonna do all the side quests we're gonna finish with our little french friend we're gonna do all the things you know and then <laughs> Oh, Jesus.
It is. I'm not complaining though. Hello, ma'am. Cause it's the game's got a really unique way of like tying back folks from earlier, and making it feel like it's come full circle. It's doing a really good job at that, like bringing characters back from the past, like the, the obviously the uh, Downs family. Bringing them back in, and then yep. even the Braithrites, that whole conflict, it's like, it almost feels like it was for nothing. All that war, destruction, everything we've done is just like, for what? For everyone to die? Like, what have we gained? But at least, like, they're bringing the characters back, and they're like, can you help me one more time? You know? It's making everything feel a little bit more meaningful. I guess. Like an old friend reaching out to you, or... Jesus. Whiskey or health care? I got some uh, medicine. I got a medicine. Should have given him a whiskey. Oh, he died. Shit. Should have given him the whiskey, I guess. Poor guy. Yeah. Nope, not today. Nope. Hey, There's now. bears. Now, come on. That's like a wolf or something, because that's a fast boy behind me. Nope, we're going. Not turning around. Is this the... Oh shit. What's going on here? Oh, she's learning to shoot. Not a single one. <laughs> Thought she was under attack. Oh, hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. How's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly <laughs> unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. <laughs> Look, you got a. I'll leave the philosophy to the philosophers. Firm. Hmm? And the shooting focus. to the cowboys. Breathe slowly. And always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Oh. Okay. Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. I've killed a lot of men. You try now. Remember to breathe. to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Uh, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. Thanks, practice. Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. Where'd he go? Uh, got away. I told you it was fast. 
Oh damn. It like went away away. Come on, come on. Yay! Yes! I hit it! I hit it! Look at that! Yay! Now you can shoot the rat yourself, woman! What can I say? Thank you. You're welcome. But I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Sure. Poor lady. If only Arthur had been around to help her and her husband learn to fend for themselves. This is a nice area. They got it made, dude. The corner of the map. The cabin. It's fucking cozy, bro. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. This is very intimate. Please don't try to kill me. Oh. <laughs> well, sick crisscross applesauce. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, the whole pot? You helped me to catch it after all. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Please enjoy. And thank huh? you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <laughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> There's just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. Am I okay? My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, thank you for this. <coughs> I think it's, it's best if I, if I make... <coughs> Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. Jeez. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to mm. finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. You've met me once, but I appreciate your uh, kindness. Loot? That's that's a trap. That's a sin. She said she left it in the jewelry box. Is that what she said? Box on the nightstand, okay. All right. Sure, a hundred dollars, ooh. Very nice. 
This is a very cozy house. We got rugs and everything. It makes sense that uh, she said they come from from rich, yeah. rich past lives. God damn, we're wanted everywhere, eh? Oh, we can go check on Obadiah, bro. What? Huh? Sure. That's so easy. We can just do that. Then we can travel to uh, Rhodes and check on Penelope. And then we can travel to uh, Strawberry. Oh, yeah, baby. location of those old odd carvings now he wants me to go see him wow what can't check on him now wanted oh guess we'll come back to that Strange. Hmm, we can go fishing with Hamish now. Hamish. Yep. All right, all right. Mining, yeah. Fine morning, partner. Hey there, mister. Yeah. There's a lot of kind people in this game. There's a lot of unkind people in this game, but there's also a lot of kind people. The Sewenity. Oh, I just realized I'm in fucking ultra zoom mode. I hate that. I keep forgetting from the cutscene. Watch it spawn now. Oh, thank God. I was about to be so mad. If it like spawns the instant I ride away. <laughs> Oh, man. I guess that's one of the downsides to fast travel. It could, like, clear the conditions for you to be able to do the side quest. I ship them. Best horse duo in the game. The door is open. Let's go. Hey, Mish. Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. <laughs> Let's go to my boat. Good. 
Here she is. I feel Goodbye, like Rowan. Sure. What we fish you for? <laughs> Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around oh. here. It's all kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever oh. old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. Oh. They are pretty. It's you like Mardi Gras. Of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. I was gonna say, uh, the same people who like fishing are the same people who like golfing. People with a lot of free time, that's who. You got enough free time to golf for six hours on a Saturday? You got enough free time to go out fishing? We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. You don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know who I'm so excited to get to do these things with you guys. The optimism of youth. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce right, right now on my chair. Cast off towards the island. Okay. All right. That lore I gave you, get her out. Ugh. Legendary fish. Working on that. Haven't done that yet. Right combination of feather, twine, and glimmer, making them, losing them, getting them right. Tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. Now I hear he can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy yeah. for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on a... now, Tyron. I got you. I got you. Come on. <sighs> ah, went on slack. Went on slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amos! What the fuck? Stay there. I'm throwing out here. Whoa. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. <laughs> Over here. They got like a shark out here? I'm, I'm over here. Come on, buddy. God. Hey. The Loch Ness monster? Uh, uh. Jesus. You lost anything? No. Adjust my rod. No. We got my toes too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. True. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike? That would be a Literally, like the thing was so huge. Sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were. And make sure to use that lure I gave you. That him? I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Oh my god. Ah, you lost him. Let's try again. This might be the one casting. How did I lose him? God, I forgot how to fish in this game. It's been a long time. Come on, he's hooked. How? He's gone. That tyrant's a clever one. 
Let's try again. That was weak. There we go. Now reel a mic quicker. Okay. Space bar. Holding. That's what I was doing. Stand steady. Time to reel. Leave it a moment. He's fighting you. Don't let him pull you. I'm pressing R to increase my reeling speed. Strong, ain't he? Reel it in. No! Lost him! We're gonna get this son of a bitch. Dude! Now. Oh, that took. Come on. I was reeling! I was pressing spacebar and R. Why is it being weird? Come on, fucking game! Let's go! Hold spacebar. You're doing good! I'm moving it. Up. We got you now, Tyrant. We got I'm you. I'm moving. The thing's got a fucking fin the size of my head. Dude, my controls are all sorts of fucked. <sighs> I'm holding R, come on.
Push up. Dude, I am... My mouse just disconnected because I'm yanking it so hard. I'm literally yanking my mouse so hard that the cord just... Hold spacebar. Press R. I'm googling it. Hold. Press R. Space is real. Left click is to hook. Hold shift in space when it's fighting. And then when it's not, hold space to real. Shift in space. <clears throat> Hi, Jinx. I think we're doing it. Hi, baby. We're fishing. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. I'm gonna lose it. I was not born to be a fisherman. Who told me to go on this goddamn quest? Y'all were like, y'all should go fishing. You should go fishing with him. It's a really good mission. <laughs> I quit. One more time. You can speed that up a little. You want to fucking do it? Hey, hey. This is the most frustrating thing I've ever had to fucking do in this game. I was not reeling! I wasn't fucking reeling! I hate this. I'd rather kill 20 legendary animals than do this stupid shit. I'm sorry, I'm getting angry. All the people that love fishing are probably like... Now when you're holding it and it's fighting, you should move your mouse in the opposite direction and it's going to further tire it out.
Hasn't fished the whole game. Fuck it. I quit. That's it. That was the last try. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Nope. Nope. I can't leave! Let's see a nice strong cat. No! I can't leave! How to fish with a keyboard and mouse. Also, it's gonna be just a torture. Now cast again. With cats and did earlier. I have to do this. Are you shitting me? This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. I've killed so many clickers. So many zombies. There's Princess. She's watching. Can't let her down. So many animals. So many people. And I can't catch a goddamn fish. Are you serious? Come on. Is this how slow it's supposed to go? Please, dear fucking god. Dear fucking god. God, I need a massage after that. My traps are so tight. Oh my 
God. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Yeah, sorry. You caught him. Let's roll back. Jesus Christ. I'm putting this in my memoriam of things I've done in my life. I'm putting this on my resume. Here, here. Oh, the holder. It was this big. Wow. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pawn. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was. That's a big old boy. <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Hi, Loki. Me out. You want some fish? I appreciate the company. He would love some fish. Hi, baby boy. That's one hell of a fish. I hate you guys for making me do this. <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. Mm hmm. You see, now I'm like, well, what if it's a special legendary animal that we can't get anywhere else? We can only get it with him. Um. All right, we can go do that guy again. Want to go all the way to Strawberry to do that guy. Um. Now, where is the heart of the buffalo? All right. Do I need to, like, maybe, maybe I'll just go meet him first. Let's just go to Strawberry and figure it out from there. Hi, Loki Mo. Yo, baby. Yo, baby Lokis. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's being such a good old baby. Hi, baby. He's laying in my lap. Good old boy. God. <gasps> I'm going into work today and, uh... Like, if I at any point feel unproductive or unresolved, I'm just gonna remember that I did that shit this morning. <gasps> I did that shit! I caught a legendary fish. My only legendary fish in my Red Dead playthrough. We did that shit, boys. God, there's still so much content left in this game, like... I just saw the wagon wheel, but there's like all of those. There's probably more bounties, like. Okay, my girl. What is going on? Hey, I'm here. Didn't they say that the mayor of this town's a clown? Okay. Let's see. All this time, all this work. So I did all the rock carvings. I also did all of the dream catchers. I'm not quite sure what that does for us. I'm curious to see the results of all of it. Your 
good, girl. Yep. Hello. Hello? Hello, Mr. Sinclair? Oh. I'm sorry for intruding. Uh, Mrs. Sinclair? Yes. How did you know? I'm looking for your husband. My husband? Yeah. He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born, one year ago. Your husband, Francis, is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband, Tom, is dead. Uh, what? I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? Uh, uh, that's not important. Excuse me. Uh, has asked you to help find the rock carvings throughout the world for reasons he can't explain. Once found. The carving locations can be mailed back to Francis. You have completed it. Okay, then, girl. Um. Hmm. Why is there a dead body here? What is that? Huh. been dead for a year? Oh, is this where I shot the guy? No. I don't want to rob the guy. I just want to see who this was. Pomade. Fruit. Nah, we're all right. Yep. Um. Ending explained. I don't know. I'm not going to read into it. We'll see. Tom, the baby, Francis died. Oh. Anyways. I do want to know if there's like treasure. Rock carvings. Did we get anything from that? Yeah. We got a rock. We visited him. Yeah. I'm so... We found him, we talked to him. The odd guy. Ten carvings. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I did miss, like, one thing in the cabin, which was, like, picking up a compass. Y'all know I don't care about talismans and stuff, so I'm not going to read further into it. Francis Sinclair. 
It's like a redhead. The baby was redheaded. But it's the father, so obviously it'd be redheaded. I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna camp. We're just gonna go do this Penelope business. Is she behind it? But all of the rock carvings were scary, like, weird future premonitions. So is he actually... dead? Or... did he, like, predict the future? Or, I don't know. I'm just like googling pictures of him now. Did the baby have a scar? The baby did have a scar. Yeah, what's my journal got to say about this? I wanted to see the fella, Hamish Sinclair. Sinclair? Quite a sportsman, outdoorsman, went fishing for a pike, got him in the end, wants to take me hunting. <sighs> Hamish, not the pike. Sinclair! Hamish! Ah! Uh, something real odd happened, went to see Francis, only he wasn't there, but a lady was nursing a baby called Francis. The baby was called Francis. Why did I just think the baby's... Tom... Tom... Sinclair. Where do I get the name fucking Tom from? I think I'm losing it. Uh... He had the same mark on his face, yet she'd never heard of an adult with that name and was acting real odd. She must have been treating me for a fool, which perhaps I was for getting involved in this nonsense. Someone had made the carvings into an odd symbol. I don't know what to make of this at all. Dude. Partner? Hello! Okay, that's the end of the, the entry. <laughs> that's such a creepy drawing. This is like so cursed. Okay, we're gonna go to see Penelope and the burned down ruins. What a crazy episode today. Jesus, Louises. Before we do that, I'm gonna. Oh. God damn it. Oh, okay, the salon's open again. I was like, I just, the saloon, I just wanted to get some food. Look, I have to ask you to put that away. Do you think you can put that away, Chester? I just keep it friendly in here, okay? Hey, folks. Hey, sugar. Well, hello there. Careful. Hello. It's dangerous folk around here. Not me walking around with a gun. Well, hello, mister. What can I get for you? Fried catfish. Ooh, wee. Can I get a meal? Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Yummy. We deserve it. Beautiful. Get your coin, woman. Just wait. No need for that. We done here? Sure. Did I accidentally kill, like, an innocent person? I don't know. It showed that I lost some honor. Alright, Penelope time! Francis Sinclair. Hamish Sinclair. Time travel. Babies. He died a year ago. Yep. Her husband. <laughs> Did 
Did we get anything for the dream catcher missions? Is that the one with the Buffalo? I got all 20 of them cuz I got the statue. The buffalo. Uh We'll just have to look at the quest again after. Okay. Come on. Sometimes Princess just uh, gets the zoomies. Hi, Loki. Just sitting here with his little ears. Why are you just sitting here with your little ears poking in the camera? No, baby. He's just a little guy. He just had breakfast. He's just sitting there staring at me all EP like... Mother! All right, what can the uh, Morgan, a Morgan service do for you? Jesus. It's been, a, it's been a while since we've been here, huh, boys? Oh, oh, you came, you came, you finally came. I came. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Well, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. This is the kind of enthusiasm we wanted. They killed Miss Calhoun. Oh, All shit. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Oh. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Could have been anyone in this town, Not really. Animals, monsters, monsters. If God had lost all his powers of imagination, can you, can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery, or maybe they'd lynch us both. So I'm this is sure. better. They do so love hanging folks. How is this better? Where are you heading? Up to Boston. That's my question. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Everyone's leaving. Come on, girly pop. Get on. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Right at the crack of dawn, too. No one should see Bo's us coming. Just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. <laughs> he goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. Well, hoping I one day she shows up. There one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Let's hope he's alive. Oh well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. God damn. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. Yep. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you think this could be a new beginning? But everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out, don't look back, and make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There are worse. <laughs> he's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... <laughs> there he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? What am I, your father? Fine. I mean, basically. That's crazy. She's gonna move to Boston and just meet someone instantly who's like, she's gonna leave him. Hello, Bo. You came! <laughs> you came! At last, you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. 
But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Are they gonna die? Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Send me your firstborn. Oh, them jewels would do just fine. Call me Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We we can't chance being seen. Oh my God. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <clears throat> Can I have three tickets to San Denis? Please, Me and my sir? children. Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey, cousin. Oh God, I knew it. Excuse me, old. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. I knew some shit was gonna happen. So maybe one brain between you. You're gonna get hurt, uh, cowboy. Get him, Scott. Your boyfriend's going next. If that is his real name, I it doesn't matter. He can fight. My fucking hat. My hat fell off. Please get on. You can mess with a lot. My dignity. My money. But don't touch my fucking hat or my horse. I didn't want to risk picking it up. And be late. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? Oh, my uncle used to say things were better the way they were. I'm glad you guys are leaving. Kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly few. Well, how do life? Oh my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. I knew this shit was gonna happen. I think they found out about the jewels. Alright, keep your heads down. Jewels? I knew you had your damn jewels. You must have all the jewels in the state, the amount of I think I had a nice meal before this. Jesus. Princess! She's just chasing the train. Are we good? Driver. I to rob your trains, Mr. He's Mr. left. Now. All 
All right. Following us behind. Please be careful. I can't save here, of course not. Is this the first stop? Or am I taking them all the way to Saint Denis? Oh, rig station. Okay, I was like, jeez. I mean, I'll do it, but I'm just gonna have to cough up a couple jewels. I'm just kidding. I support them having a happy life together. There we go. <laughs> Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was... Kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives. They don't count. They would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. And a scholar. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. Wow. That brave white treasure. Finally. Accept or reject? You can have it. I couldn't take it. It's not worth anything no. to me anymore. Let's get you off to Boston. I don't care anymore. Relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Yeah. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money. They'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey. <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Aww. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. You know what? We are a fine oh, man. Yeah. Wow. The course of true love finally complete. Look at that. Oh, we're tired. Poor Arthur is tired. Hmm. 
Okay. That's a funny looking fish hook. Um unique item. Uh No. Oh great. Close that a uh, the invitation? Weird. Um... Treasure maps? that Charles thing is worth a lot now. Yeah, I didn't even start this exotic thing. We're not doing that. Uh. <sighs> yeah, we done did all of them. That I could. Maybe it's in our, like, log? Oh, I think the map was in the journal. Now I think about it. Bones. Yeah, I don't even know what this exotic stuff is. Reveal a secret within. A necklace? Ah, bless me. Okay. Hmm. The poison. Hi, Jinky. Somewhere over here. There it is. Buffalo. Ah, oh, keen. Buffalo to this. So there's like an X here that's not connected to anything. And that's like the river. And then there's uh... I think that's literally the only X that's not connected to stuff. So it's up the winding river past the intestine. Okay, got it. Up the winding river past the intestine. Winding river. Intestine. No way they're gonna put me right back to the cave I've been to like seven times, right? And never found anything. You know what I'm talking about? You guys remember that cave that I went to at the beginning of the game and I was like, wow, this is useless, there's nothing here. And then I went back again and I was like, wow, there's nothing here. Hmm. Huh. It'd be real keen if Obadiah was here while we're at Beaver Hollow. That'd be dope. Yep. Yeah. No. Too good to be true. Oh dear. <laughs> eh? Yeah? Um, let's see. Okay, so we've been led to the bowels of the bison, if you will. Hello? Oh, hell no. Yeah. 
They're gonna try to jump me. Jesus, Jiminy fucking crickets. Jesus. We're good. Sorry, princess. You don't like how I just whipped out that stick of dynamite? Clip it! Someone clip it! I'm not streaming. But that would be funny. <laughs> That'd be a funny clip. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Um. Alright, as I was saying, about the bowels of the bison. Uh... All right, I'm Googling. I got the map pulled up. Open image, a new tab. We got the map. I'm going to pull it up for you guys. Bada bing, bada boom. So every... Everyone draws a part of the buffalo except for the 20th dream catcher. Which is at the north of the pool. So it's like right above the lake. Gavin. Oh my god, Gavin! Gavin. Out here? Boy, what are you doing? Hello? I just murdered an entire group of people. Where the fuck did you come from? Hey, mister. This is ridiculous, <laughs> mate. You're telling me. It might be time to... Call it quits. You what? Have you gone mad? I love that boy. Big bloody dope that he There's is. a lot of things I have questions no. about in this game. No, I'll find him. We got Gavin. <laughs> we've got time travelers. We've got vampires. We Good got luck. meteors. Yeah. All right, so me thinks we have to go into the. It's literally uh, it's showing like at the mouth of the. Well, God damn! Of the pool. I don't know if it's this? Maybe? Oh shit, okay, it is, it is, it is, it is. I don't remember when I went in here the first time and I thought I was gonna get eaten by spiders or ghosts. I still feel that way. Ugh. It'd be dope if you could get, like, perfect rat pelts in here. Now, y'all know I don't care about perfect pelts. Or any of that mess. There are limitations to how much I care about things in video games, alright? So, like, me already going through and, like, not 100%ing, but, like, completing a bunch of the map, that's already well beyond my scope of, like, normal gameplay, okay? I just kind of ride around and then say fuck it. And, like, doing all these side quests and stuff, like, that's already me branching out more than I normally do. Using crafting mechanisms and trinkets and shit, that's, like, the next 20 years, maybe, of playing. I'll eventually be into shit like that. Like, the most I did in The Witcher was I finally crafted a set of Witcher gear. Which, I mean, obviously is, like, really important to the story. Like, or not to the story, but to, like, 
the 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 world so having witcher gear is like really really op really good but that's the farthest that i ever went like collecting those pieces and shit like mm -mm. min maxing and figuring out the different skill trees and like basically metagaming i do not give a fuck especially if i'm playing a story game no story games are designed to be played um like the way you feel like playing. Yeah, anyway, so I definitely Googled it because I didn't know. Like, I paused and I Googled because uh, I did not know what we were supposed to do. So I remember that there was this painting here a long time ago, but now we can inspect it. And that looks like a hole. Hi, Jinx. Because... Uh, Previously, we could only just, like, walk up to it. Oh! Is it the head? Because that's where it's showing. Oh! Ancient arrowhead. Complete! Ooh. I'm guessing that's going to be good for a bow. I don't personally give a shit about that. Like, at all. But, um, that's cool. At least we're full circle, you know? Now, if they gave me a legendary pistol that I never had to reload or clean, hear me out. Somehow, Red Dead Redemption works with Cyberpunk and puts a Cyberpunk or GTA or something. I've never played GTA, so I don't know. But, like, puts a little... Can y'all stop it? Y'all are siblings. Stop fighting. Um, puts a little trink, like a little Easter egg where you can get something like that. Imagine Mantis Blades <laughs> in Red Dead. Oh, I'd be ripping, tearing through these hoes. Princess! Princessa! Hello! Hey there. Amazing. Okay! So... That's that. Um... I'm gonna give one more shot. To seeing if we can find Edith and the boy. Edith and I don't know. His name was like kind of nerdy. It was like Albert or something. Sorry if your name is Albert. You're a nerd. Um. Yeah. Sad Obadiah's mission like vanished. I'm sure it'll just have to be another. It could and killing some the bitch. Kill that no good devil. I see your marker. Ah, whatever. I like how dynamic they did make the world, though. Like, you pissed off a gang, that gang is gonna be hiding. And trying to jump you. Like, that's pretty cool. I just got the itch to play Cyberpunk after saying that whole uh, rant I just went on. I need to go back and play it. Since it was my first story game, I don't really remember. 
forgotten a lot of the details. I'll have to go back and do the D DLC too. Oh, I see someone. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. I think. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Willard's Rest. That way. Okay, Princess is just taking an absolute dumpy. We got you. Look at these little pretty horsies. You done good, girl. Few hours. Whoops. I do not want to fuck with that railway. There's the horsey. She sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Uh, see you again, dearie. Dude, if anyone ever fuck, I would. Listen. Wham him! Listen to me. <laughs> Why I ought to. <laughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. He gave me the osis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool, and I'm suffering for my foolishness. But that doesn't mean you should suffer. Go and get yourself killed yep. because of your pride. Mm -hmm. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. Yeah, I'm just so ashamed of what everything has turned into. Ashamed <laughs> of what? <laughs> You loved him. You did everything for him. That's I think she just awful. needs a warm hand. She doesn't need to be demanded. All right. Let's go. She hasn't felt like warmth in a long time. Let's go, girl. Come on. I'm glad we got to do this. I'm sorry you had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? Not exactly. 
I ain't looking for that. I just ran over a grave. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Have someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Hmm. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. It's nice that we could actually check in on them and make sure they're leaving, you know? Not just ditch him. Mama. Mama. Oh, so this is so sad. What do we do? Get out of here. Go live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here, please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. Oh. I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money. Pack your bags. That's all I got to say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. You ruined your life. was real emotional. It was a nice little moment we shared there. I'm glad we got to do something nice for them because we did fuck them up, huh? We did fuck them up! I think that's a good place to stop because I don't know how... where this is going to take us, like this whole uh, Micah quest. It's going to lead us on another trail. And uh, this is the end of the video, so... Whew, we got a lot done. I wanted to, like, I like tying up things as we go along because I never know what's going to happen in this story as it keeps going. Like, honestly, chapter four put a lot of things in perspective for me. And, um, like, getting to have the time with Arthur to, like, explore the map and do all the things that I wanted to do. Like, for a second there, I was like, this is it. This is the end of the game. I can't go back. I can't get all the bones. I can't finish all these side quests and all these character missions and stuff. But... Now, every time we have an opportunity to do that, I like to take it. And uh, also, I had to fish for like half an hour, which really uh, put a damper in things. But it was good because we actually did it. And you guys got to watch me battle and almost uh, break my mouse. I just unplugged it, but we were fucking close. So I appreciate you guys for being here with me, sticking through the story with me. We are closing in to what feels like a grand slam of a, um, of a show, of a game. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya!